wave number five likely becomes official today. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. That's going to be a third day of 90 degree or greater heat. Here are some heat safety tips for your day today. Drink plenty of water. Make sure you avoid the direct sunlight between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also, stay in the air conditioning. That is the easiest thing we could say. If you have air conditioning, stay in the air conditioning. If you don't have air conditioning, at least have fans going with plenty of open windows as well. You want to make sure that air is circulating. And make sure if you have cats or dogs, you want to keep them as cool as you are. So if you have air conditioning, again, make sure they stay in the air conditioning. So like we said in the beginning, this is heat wave number five for us in 2021. No big deal for us, really. We've had five plenty of times before, but only up until about 1985. Before then, we didn't have anything higher than four when records have been kept at Atlantic City or National Airport. And we've seen, on average, one more heat wave a year in the past 30 years. If you take that 30-year average compared to the first 30 years of records at Atlantic City International Airport. Records go back to 1943. Here's a look at our setup for today. The jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses, will be to our north. As a result, we have a southerly wind that's coming in from Bahamas and Cuba, all those tropical muggy places there. And we will be talking about some shower chances over the next couple of days. Here is the time that it will be wet. Now, this is an average for everywhere in southeastern New Jersey. So you could be higher, you could be lower. The point is, we are going to be more dry than not, at least for the next four days. But I will say this, Saturday going to be kind of an iffy 50-50 kind of day with us here. Where, yeah, you're going to get dry time, but you're going to get wet periods as well. And if you do have outdoor events planned for Saturday and you can move them to Sunday, I would do that. Taking a look at our forecasted radar for our Thursday. Nothing during the morning here. It will just be hot and humid. Eventually, though, the sun will destabilize the atmosphere. And we'll see a couple of thunderstorms flare up. It won't be until later in the afternoon, after about 3 or 4 o'clock. And they won't even be everywhere. It should just be isolated activity. However, if you're caught under that thunderstorm, you could see a quick inch per hour rate with this rain. And some localized putting, puddling of roadways will be possible. Taking a look at what's going to happen with our Thursday morning forecast. We're rising through the 70s into the 80s here. We have a mostly sunny sky. Going into our Thursday, it is our hottest and humidest day of the week. We're talking about an isolated PM storm inland. High temperatures will be in the low 90s on the mainland, mid 80s out the shore. We do have that shore sea breeze kicking in, so we'll feel nice there. But look at the heat index inland, 101 in Estelle Manor, 102 in Hamilton, 104 in Stowe Creek. Heat advisory criteria is 105, so we're not going to meet that, but we're going to be darn close. If you do want to go to the shore, A-plus day for it here. Water temperatures in the low to mid-70s, low risk for rip currents. And again, that rain should stay away. It should stay inland. So good news for you on Thursday if you do want to head to the islands. Taking a look at our Thursday night numbers, we're sliding through the 80s into the 70s. Overnight lows will be in the low to mid-70s everywhere. Super muggy out, though. Bad hair night, and that'll lead to a bad hair day on Friday where it will be hot and humid again. We are looking for scattered afternoon thunderstorms, so a little more widespread coverage in Thursday, and this looks to make its way over to the shore as well. Taking a look at the weekend, here we go for Saturday. Seeing those periods of rain develop, especially during the afternoon, the morning will be the wettest, uh, excuse me, the driest time. Then we're going to Sunday. We're talking about a mostly dry day, but we will see a round of showers and storms during the afternoon like we typically do during the summer. Here's a look at our mainland seven-day forecast, low 90s, through Friday, then the heat wave breaks for the weekend, but that does come at the risk of some periods of rain on Saturday. Sunday and Monday are more of your typical afternoon shower storm threat. Flip on over to the shore seven day where we have the same story for Sunday and Monday. Tuesday again looks to be a day with periods of rain. And as we go into Wednesday, a nice close, or I should say a nice beginning actually to September. September begins on Wednesday here. Temperatures in the low 80s with a partly sunny sky. We'll be back with you at 6.30 tonight. We're going to talk to you about the weekend ahead. You can go to our website, pressofac.com slash weather for that. Plus, we have articles, podcasts, and more. You can always follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok.